Alright, ready? Yep. Well guys, as you've seen in our last video, I was a little out of control at the end. So this week, I've tied myself up to contain myself. That's right, with fuel line. Yes. We hope by the end of this video to have all the fuel completely run and installed. It doesn't look that bad, really. No. Special thanks to PBAEH right here on our shirts. How for about sponsoring. Awa. <laughs> for sponsoring How about this awa. For sponsoring How about awa. this episode. There was a bit of a confusion for us. Again, we've never done this, guys. So it's not like we have, you know, the, the, the knowledge and experience to look at a fitting and know exactly where it goes. And so it took us a little bit of time to kind of put all of it out and lay it out. So as you guys know, that's a 36 gallon tank. 38 gallon. 38 gallon. This is a 19 gallon head. Yes. So what we have is the kit comes with the pipes to extend it. Yes. And so we've soldered on this. Uh, this is where the float goes and then your pump sits on the end of here. Yes. And we've mocked it up in the tank and everything and this literally sits right at the bottom. Man, it's perfect. I, we'll see if we can get a shot of it here in yeah. a second so you can see. And so it's all soldered on. We're waiting for it to dry and then we'll pressure test it. If yeah. it doesn't leak, then we'll do the next one. Yeah, and then so we'll that was the key. We did some soldering earlier, and uh, we checked it to see if... Uh, Pressure tested it. Yeah, and there was air coming out, so. our solder joint. So uh, we're pretty sure that this is working good. We got it figured out now. So, But we're just basically sweat soldering like you would do plumbing, like copper plumbing. See? But yeah, it looks awesome. I think it's going to work out great. I'm excited about it. You want to talk to him about the float and what we did with that too because we had to adjust yeah. it originally this float comes bent uh down more yeah and we didn't we would rather have the gauge tell us we're out of gas before we're actually out of gas than have the guy gauge tell us we're out of gas and be out of gas if that makes sense <laughs> right because you you want that little reserve all gas yeah. tanks have like a two gallon even if it says zero miles to empty or whatever, yeah. you still have like a gallon or two layer. Yep. And so we wanted that same effect. So yeah. in and, this- And we were pretty concerned about, yeah, the full. Yeah, we wanted it to read full. So the problem will be is now it'll read full until the water, the fuel level will get just below this and then it'll start dropping. Yeah. Um, but the good news is, is when it's down here, it's saying full, you still probably have like a gallon left. You're over here worried about catching on fire. Yes, I'm worried about in. blowing ourselves up is what I'm Listen, worried about. Listen, I'm the one covered in fuel, you're not. So if anyone needs to be concerned, and you know me, I worry a lot. Maybe that's why I pause every time we do something. All right, now I'll hit it. I think it works. Guys, what do you think? That tells me red is our positive and that's black good. is our negative. It's good. And it's wired right on the pump. Somehow you got it right on the pump. Guessed, I guessed. Hey, maybe you're overthinking work this time on that situation. What you got in your hand there, bud? Uh, the fuel filter. Fuel filter, right? 
So I think that's where we're going to locate it. All right, cool. That's just kind of like right behind the driver's side in the cab. Yeah. It is directional. It goes in one way, out the other way. All right, everybody, so here is our pressure regulator valve here. Uh, adjust the pressure down here. And uh, our plan is we're gonna run our fuel in this side, kind of go through the valve. It's gonna come out the other side. And then we believe that this is our return. So this is the fitting that we have. This one has a little uh, O-ring. These get attached here, like so. And we'll get tightened down and then we'll run a 90 here, this direction. These two will go back to the tank and this one here will go up to our fuel rail. Okay. Uh, it goes down to our regulator. Okay. And then our regulator feeds back to the pump and so forth. So we're gonna have to lay down and show you guys that next, but it's all done. Just gotta tighten it up. Well, that's cool right there. It's pretty awesome. I'm digging that. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we got all of our hoses tightened, all of our hoses clamped, installed. Jason's run the wire. Uh, what else is there to do? I don't know, we gotta put uh, that O-ring in there. This guy. And put that little ring on there to lock the whole thing in place. Install those couple AN fittings, and then I think we're ready to stick some gas in this thing, right? Put our hose on there and fill her up with bomb bomb fluid. Bomb bomb fluid, let's do it. Let's explode something today. We're probably gonna die. Glad we have insurance. Then, what you got going on here? Well, we put the fuel filler tube in. Yep, we got it all. Notice it's outside of the shop. That's because when we set it on fire, we can put it out, out here and not inside there. Sa safety first, right? Yeah. That is our motto always, is, right? And we actually have our safety officer here Safety today. officer, Jim Safety Jim. officer, Jim Jim. Jim Jim. <laughs> yep. um, so now we're going to put some fuel in it. Who's going to hold the extinguisher? That's what I want to know. I think I should hold the extinguisher. No, I'm safety. thinking Caleb or me. I, okay, you hold it. You start it. And I watch it. <laughs> All right, well, let's put some fuel in it. Let's do it. And then we'll turn it over and see what happens. Sweet. Jim GM, our safety expert. <laughs> safety. I wish, see, guys, we. You know we, what I wish we had? I wish we had an orange vest for him. <laughs> <laughs> and like a hard hat? Yeah. Uh, see, guys, we're trying to go the extra mile and create content that's both safe and relevant. And that's why we have our own safety officer. By the way, where is that fire extinguisher? That's your job, bro. <laughs> Safety's yours. <laughs> yes. All right. You guys are, you guys Turn it ready? off. All right. What's the, what's the signal for me to shut it off? Screaming. Oh, crap. Screaming. Oh, crap. Lots of screaming. <laughs> right, I turned it back off. All right. Uh, we'll see. Now, this is the key because it did turn over. Yep. So right we'll again. see if it does it a second time. Am I doing it for real this time? Yeah, yeah. sure. All right. I heard it. Yeah, but it doesn't want to crank. Yep, this is the problem we've been having. All right, guys, here we go. Number two, let's see. Whoa! Want to try it again? 
Okay, it won't start again. Try it. Yeah, no. All right, ready? Yep. Yeah, the problem is, is the key isn't doing anything. All right, everybody. We have been working really hard here trying to get the power correct uh, to our new little Mars box right there. It's got some relays in it. Uh, there's actually three wires coming off that box uh, that have to be powered. Uh, the pink one is ACC power, the blue is crank power. We need to have no power with the key off. We need to have 12 volts when the key is on. And then we need, still need to have 12 volts as it's cranking. So if you think about it, if this is running the tack and everything else, uh, 12 volts while it's cranking is on so we can see the tack and uh, 12 volts is on when the key is on and everything shuts off when you turn the key off. So this is our guy right here. So we're running a wire up. This one here, we're gonna splice it in, drop it down, and then uh, later on we'll permanently plug it in up underneath the dash and wire it up later. So that will solve our problem and I think that will, we hope we'll take care of things. Let's give it a shot. Let's, Let's see, see what, what happens. happens. Are right, you ready? Yep. All right. You got power. Let's... I'm in the on position. All right. You hear the fuel pumps on? Everything's on. Are right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> And more transmission fluid. Yeah, I figured we would. Oh no, that's oil. Wait, we gotta find it, dude. All right, guys, thank you so much to Power by the Hour for partnering with us on this build. We really appreciate it. They really came through in the thick of it for us and really helped us nail down this fuel system. Is there anything else you want to say, Jason? I feel like Power of the Body Hour is stabbing you or something. No. I don't know. A special thanks also to Gen GM, our official safety manager. You're yes. welcome to come down anytime. We'll get you next time. We'll get you a nice little orange vest yes. and a little Howard hat. Yes. And uh, you can carry the fire extinguisher around. So we appreciate you guys. Check out his channel. It's linked down in the description. He's a great guy, and you really love the stuff that he's doing. And if you guys want to see more exciting content like this, click the link in the description or one of these cards. And on that note, we'll see you next time. Generation!